Hallelujah! Christ is risen! He is risen, risen indeed. indeed! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Christ is risen! He is risen, risen indeed! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Christ is risen! He is risen, risen indeed! Hallelujah! Be glad and rejoice in what God is creating, a new heaven and earth. The, the promise, promise of Eden, Eden restored, restored, where every, every living creature lives in harmony. The promise of Eden restored, where every living creature lives in harmony. Promise is fulfilled in Jesus Christ, who died to defeat evil and rose to give us life. So let us be glad and rejoice in what God has created in us, new life the life of the risen Christ. Alleluia! Amen! Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen indeed! Alleluia!
Alleluia! Christ is risen! He He is risen risen indeed! indeed. Alleluia! The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And And also also with you. you. Alleluia! Christ is risen! He He is is risen risen indeed! indeed. Alleluia! Let us pray. O God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and by his glorious resurrection you delivered us from the power of death. Make us die every day to sin, that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. Let us be glad in it. 
A reading from Colossians. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guard shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the, tent, they left the tomb quickly, with fear and great joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid, and go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Christ is risen. He He is risen risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On this Easter day, we don't have to really use our imaginations to understand what the women are going through, how they come to the tomb. For you see, we ourselves know what they're experiencing. They're experiencing fear. And we know fear. We know fear because we've experienced fear and anxiety and apprehension because we've been asked to shelter in place, because we've been asked to wear face masks out in public. We've been asked to physically distance ourselves from each other, and we have been asked to continually wash our hands as not to contract or spread the COVID-19 virus. So we understand and we can relate to the women's fear as they, as they come to the tomb. And as they come to the tomb, they come with a sense of fear. So we ought not be surprised that in the first 10 verses of Matthew 28, we hear the word fear four times. And for the women, the fear is the same fear that seems to be universal. The fear that the word here is phobia. Phobia is a word that we use commonly in English to talk about things that scare us. So we have acrophobia, the the fear of heights, and aerophobia, the fear of flying. We have claustrophobia, the fear of closed-in spaces. Uh, We have mesophobia, the fear of germs. And we have actichophobia, fear of failure. But the universal fear, the fear that inhabits every human being, is thentophia, which means the fear of death. It is a universal fear because every time 
we experience and are exposed to death, it stirs up fear in us and it grabs us by the throat. So whether that's a, a fear of death that arises out of uh, a national epidemic or whether it's a fear of death that comes close and personal, death itself raises its ugly head. So as the women approach the tomb, they, they are themselves in fear. They are themselves needing to hear a word that calms them, that gives them a sense of hope. And that word that comes to them and to us today is don't be afraid. He is not here. He is risen. Come see the place where they laid him. That word comes to us as well. Do not be afraid. See, he is not here. He has been raised and he lives. In fact, the, the women are not immediately drawn to let go of all of their fear. In fact, they continue to be reminded again and again of, of how they are not to be afraid. And the last do not be afraid comes to the women and to us today as well from our Lord himself. Don't be afraid. See, I am alive. As he said to Mary, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We have the assurance today that Jesus is risen, that he is alive, that he tells us we need not fear. In fact, he, he says to the women, go and be on a mission. And that mission is to tell the disciples that I go ahead of them into Galilee, where I will meet them. Jesus tells us today that we are not to fear because I'm alive and I'm with you today. Live life. Don't fear. That new life in Christ comes through baptism. It is in baptism that we are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked with the cross of Christ forever so that we are again and again assured as we daily recall our baptism that Christ is alive, that he's risen, that he's in our lives, that he accompanies us each and every day. Now, the other word that appears in this gospel several times, is the word tell. The women are told to go tell the disciples that Jesus is going to meet them in Galilee. And as we read the end of this gospel, we discover what, what the disciples are themselves to go tell. That they're also, that they are to go into all the world and tell the story of Jesus, preaching, teaching, and baptizing, with the promise that he will accompany them even to the end of the age. What an important message for us today as well, the idea that we too are to tell this story. And it's a story that needs to be heard, especially in these times of pandemic. Tell the story that Jesus lives. Don't be afraid. Tell the story that Jesus is with us, no matter what we're experiencing. Tell the story to yourself each and every day as you remember your baptism. Tell the story to those you are sheltering in place with, reminding each other, 
and tell the story to your virtual community that Jesus lives to take away fear and provide hope for the future. Hope in these days when it seems that things are a bit hopeless. As we on this Easter Sunday encounter probably the peak of deaths within Illinois. But reminding us that on this Easter day, Jesus has overcome death, has conquered the ultimate sting of death, and has given us new life. These are the gifts we've been given. And Jesus goes with us into the day. We are his people. He loves us, has given his life for us, has been raised for us, and gives us hope. So Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen.
Gathered as sisters and brothers in Christ, let us affirm our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. O God, our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. As we enter this holy week, we come before you offering our prayers for the church, those in need, and the world. Awaken the church to new ways of proclaiming the gospel of Christ to strengthen the weary and serve as a beacon of hope to a suffering world. We pray for leaders in all faith traditions around the world who minister to all in their care. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all affected by the coronavirus around the world, for the leaders of the nations that they may work together in ways to benefit the entire human family as the outbreak spreads. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Grant public health and government officials on all levels the will to act with wisdom and compassion in service to all. We pray especially for Donald, President of the United States, the Congress, JB, our governor, and Tom, mayor of the city of Rockford. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heal those who are sick with the virus and those in need of testing. May they have access to medical care. Grant them your healing grace. Pour out your strength and protection on first responders and healthcare workers who stand on the front lines of care. May necessary supplies and equipment be made available to them as they put the needs of public safety before their own. For the health and well being of all who continue to provide essential services to meet the needs of our daily lives in communities across the nation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Remove the presence of fear and anxiety from our hearts. We pray for those suffering from financial hardship that they may have confidence in your providence in the weeks and months to come. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but eternal life. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. O God of mercy and might, in the mystery of the passion of your Son, you offer your infinite life to the world. Gather us around the cross of Christ and preserve us until the resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all, and And also also with with you. you. Alleluia! Christ has risen! Christ is risen indeed! Alleluia! Happy Easter! Alleluia! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter. Hosanna in the highest. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. 
Happy Easter! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Happy Easter! Hallelujah! Happy Easter, America! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Peace, Peace be, be with, with you! you. Peace. Happy Easter. 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 Happy Easter, everybody. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Let us pray. Praise and thanks to you, holy God, for by your word you made all things. You spoke light into darkness, called forth beauty from chaos, and brought life into being. For your word of life, O God, we, we give, give you, you thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. By your word you called your people Israel to tell of your wonderful gifts freedom from captivity, water on the desert journey, a pathway home from exile, wisdom for life with you. For your word of life, O God, we, we give, give you, you thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. Through Jesus, your word made flesh, you speak to us and call us to witness forgiveness through the cross life to those entombed by death, the way of your self-giving love. For your word of life, O God, we, we give, give you thanks, thanks and praise. praise. Send your spirit of truth, O God, rekindle your gifts within us, renew our faith, increase our hope, and deepen our love for the sake of a world in need. Faithful to your word, O God, draw near to all who call on you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The blessing of the Lord God Almighty, the joy of the risen Christ, and the presence of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
Alleluia! Christ is risen! He is risen, risen indeed! Alleluia! Go in peace to grow, share, love, and inspire. Thanks, Thanks be to God! God.